Hello everyone and welcome back to Control! It's been a while, but I'm back to play this because the second expansion, the AWE expansion, the Altered World Event expansion, has just been released. And this is the expansion that actually ties Control to Alan Wake, and that is very interesting to me. And I'm sure to many of you as well, so I thought a few of you would want to see this. So here I am. So, after downloading and installing the expansion, if you load up an old save, you will have a new mission. It's called A Dark Place. You need to investigate the Sector Elevator, the elevator right ahead of me. And I think this is probably going to take us to a new area of the oldest house. So, here we go. There was something there. Reaching for her. Trying to make her act. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. Right. Investigation sector, huh? Mm-hmm. We should check this out. We absolutely should. So, let's see. Here it is. Okay, so is that an option that's listed? It didn't used to be, but there it is, right at the bottom, underneath containment, the investigation sector. Alright. So, I should say, before we get started, if you're not familiar with Control, I'll put the playlist link to my playthrough of the main game, the main game story, down below in the description. It was my game of the year. It's a real favourite of mine. It's, uh, it's well worth watching, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, I've loaded up a save post post-final boss, you know? So, uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Here we go. The investigation sector. A little bit dark, isn't it? Never mind. <laughs> okay, so, do we have a map? We do. And, oh boy, it's a big one. Okay, so we're right down at the bottom of the sector head office, behind what looks like a fire break. A broken? A broken fire break? That bridge ahead of me looks broken. But then beyond that, it's a bit of a maze. But I'm sure a very fun and enjoyable maze. So yeah, let's explore the investigation sector, shall we? Hello? Anyone here? Guess not. No. Okay. Various things that are uh, already making themselves known to me. Seems a lot more crowded than the rest of the Bureau. It does, doesn't it? A lot of documents on the floor, too. Not all of them. Right, there's going to be a lot of these, I feel. Darling investigation. Okay, so yeah, because there's going to be so many of these, I expect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a brief window to pause the video and read this for yourselves. I'll skim it. If there's anything really important, anything special about it, I will try and speak it out aloud. But um, yes, uh, I, I don't want this to be, you know, like a, an hour long video of just me reading, essentially. So <laughs> just uh, pause the video at your leisure and uh, take what you want. All right. So there you go. There's the first of many. And what have we got over here? The Casey Inquiry. OK. Oh, now this is related to Bright Falls, specifically on the disappearance of the author Alan Wake. Right. A request from a special agent named Alex Casey. Sounds familiar, right? That's because Alex Casey is the name of the fictional detective in those hard-boiled crime books Alan Wake wrote. Pretty interesting that an FBI agent sharing a name with the most famous character Wake wrote is looking into a case dealing with a writer's fiction coming true. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. I adore Control. I really do adore the world building. And the many ways they could just expand upon it. And this is one of them. What do we got here? Missing agents. Let's see. Jonathan Connor, Ezra Cruz, Caroline Dempsey, Lindsay Malcolm, Charles Murray, Derek Shah. Confirmed missing, presumed dead from the containment breach. Wow, okay. The only hard copies of reports exist behind the firebreak. They're lost, I'm afraid. Well, I'm going to be going beyond the firebreak, so I'm going to see a few of these, I'm sure. Okay. Something over there in the darkness? We don't actually have, like, a light source, do we? No. Uh, a tractor supplement. Go on. <laughs> uh, so, what happened to William Burra? A 33-year-old man found dead on his property. Blunt force injuries to the head, extremities, dislocations, extensive trauma, complete avulsion of multiple organs? Mr. Burrow's death is not the result of a mechanical accident. The removal of organs is consistent with an animal attack. 
Not a tractor. <laughs> okay. All right. Something else over here, by the looks of it. Oh, I think there might be a control point through there. I hope so. Uh, a resignation letter. It's not darling, is it? Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> All right. William Kirkland this time. Hmm. All right. There you go. Uh, looks like we got a button over here. But it's red. Hmm. It's not working. Huh, okay. Probably a loose power core somewhere. Well, I, I do notice there's one over here. Maybe I could borrow this one and put it somewhere else. First things first, though. It looks like there's yet more documents on the floor, so... A staffing issue this time. Okay. I am essentially just skimming all of these for keywords. <laughs> Alan Wake being the, the, the top one, really. Between the staff we lost in the Hartman thing and the ones who left for other departments after Kirkland quit, we're barely managing to keep up the workload. Right. Okay. Right, so I can see that there's a cable going uh, along here. I can't really see where it goes, though. It's very, very dark. And to be honest, I think that's the point. In this expansion, we're going to have to make use of light, much like we do in Alan Wake. What's this? Oh, Cauldron Lake. There we go. There's another keyword that I'm looking for. So, let's see. Raccoons? The Lake House Research Station. Right. If anyone at HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell him it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might invest in some raccoon traps. And that's Agent Estevez, right. Alright, so up here. Sector head office. Uh, would you believe it? There's more things to read. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to be doing other things at some point. Something about Underhill. The background of Underhill. Dr. Rhea Underhill. Right. She was the character that I didn't really interact with too much in my playthrough. I kind of avoided that side quest. I didn't really meet her until the very end of the game, which was kind of odd. But yeah, she's dealing with the mold. I have since gone down and dealt with that. Uh, side mission, but I don't think I have in this save. This save is taken straight from, well, the end of my playthrough. Director investigation. You talking about me or uh, no? Director Zachariah Trench, the old one. Hmm. I'd love to know what this redacted information was. Really. If I could just find something that removed that black marker, that'd be great. <laughs> Maybe I can. If I'm going to find it anywhere, it might be in investigations, right? Okay. Looks like there's yet another one. I hope this isn't too boring for you. Hmm. Holding a dangerous specimen in investigations? The containment sector exists for a reason. I see. You're both failures plotting against me. You're traitors, but the truth will merge out of you. Zachariah Trench. Laying down the law. Hmm. What's going on down here? Ah, okay, right. Maybe some items in here? Uh, there's one. A shaded facet? That's new. Uh, what was it? Control? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get used to the uh, gotta get used to the controls in control. Funnily enough, so that's my shield that I barely use. Uh, obviously, I could just like drop that, pick stuff up, throw it around, I can jump around. That's right. I've got various different guns. Uh, I think I can. Hang on. Yep, that's right. I've got that attack as well. What else was there? There was probably a few other things that I'm forgetting about, honestly. Right, let's see. Let's just get that out of the way, shall we? There we are. Can I squeeze through? Probably can now. Oh, there we are. There's another one hidden down here. Keystone inspection, go on. Hmm. Reminds me of the ordinary case. Huh. 
Yeah, so along with Alan Wake in Bright Falls, we're going to we're going to find out a lot more about all the other stuff that we've maybe heard mention of in the main playthrough. Really I'm looking forward to this one. Right, so up here. Oh, this is this is where it's connected. I see. Okay, well, I will go and grab the uh, the power core and put that in after I read this. I'm sure I could read just one more <laughs> ethics investigation. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Launched into the legality of the prime candidate program. I see. Okay. Anything else up here? Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else to read, so... Oh, wait, there's one. <laughs> there's always one. Oh, more about the tractor! Okay. Yeah, the Burrow tractor, right. So, it's not in Burrow... It's not in Bureau custody. Uh, it's an olive green tractor. Let's see. Yeah, after the death of William Burrow... Police arrived, but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Upon arrival, the agents approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. <laughs> okay. Strange. Very strange. As most of this game is, honestly. Anyway. Right. Uh, I'll be taking you. And I will be plugging it in. About there. Now that gate should open. And it looks like it has. Okay. I might be missing other things. Uh, I apologize, but uh, let's move on. Another one? Okay. Specimen escape. Okay, this could be interesting. Hmm. So, what is this exactly? Sometimes you can guess at what's under the black marker. Sometimes you can't. An hour prior to the incident, a civilian named Alice something. Could that be Wake? I think Alan Wake's wife was called Alice Wake. Yeah. It is likely that Mrs. Wake's presence is related to the specimen's escape and to the something. Yeah. Alice Wake. Hmm. Alright. Alright, let's avoid the metal detector. And let's open this up. And there you go. Right, so let's see if we can get the control point. Okay, we haven't even got to the fire break yet. <laughs> this is probably going to be a fairly slow-paced playthrough. I'm no detective, but something definitely happened here. You are absolutely right. Let's read about it. In the Blessed Organization. Okay. Blessed pictures connected to an altered item case. Hmm. Okay. Right, now that cord. I expect that has to be pulled three times. So, one, two, and three. Do we know each other? Hey. I feel... this feels familiar. I can't seem to... I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I'm... My name is Alan Wick. Who are you? Alan Wake Two or uh the Nightmare? <laughs> Who are you? Do I know you? I'm your friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. And his muse. Diver, you, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An auteur like yourself. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. <laughs> oh, was that darling that I just saw? Endless 
Atlas. The darkness. Nothing holds still. But we're very close now. You've been riding. I found a way to escape. It'll work this time. Riding? You found a way! No. I... I don't... Wait. There's something. It's my dog. He's out there. I I've seen yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to worry about. I'm dealing with it. It's fine, my friend. Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. Wow, okay. That was muddled. That was Alan Wake, mm -hmm. the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. Correct. What's he doing here? I expect this isn't going to work. I usually need to find the key, don't I? And Thomas Zane was with him. Hmm. The poet. No, wait. D -d he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. <laughs> okay, so. Service, please. Okay. Cool. Looks like we got the vending machine working. Oh, we can get something? Hang on. Let's get some trail mix. Uh, oh, we're just turning it off. Okay. Uh, looks like we got a couple of these rooms open. Please tell me it's going to be an episode of Night Springs. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Wait, what about the next room? Oh, it's the radio this time. And turn that off. Okay. And the third one? Do we do have access to it, okay. Right. Were they the keys? Yeah, darkness is gonna play a really, really significant role in this, I think. Dr. Emil Hartman. Oh. Devoured by hungry darkness. Became the thing that had been Hartman. Broke loose. Killed everyone it could. Lurking. Roaming, waiting. Then something else came. A resonance. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. <sighs> Hartman was at the lodge, right? In Alan Wake. It's a very familiar name. Yeah, I. he was a character in Alan Wake, certainly. And here we are. Oh, it looks like the way's been cleared. Okay, so, one two, and three. All right! Here we are. The fire break. So broken, just as the map suggested. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to go across there, aren't I? And then again. So, here we go. So I can dash a little bit. That kind of helps. To be honest, I don't know if this mission only occurs if you've completed the game. I don't know if you can just sort of jump straight into this, essentially. Probably not, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Having a lot of Jesse's abilities is certainly a plus. Look at all that blood. Holy shit. Wow. That's grim. Alright. The other side? The other side seems much better. Okay. Back over to grip, I think. Creepy, damp, and abandoned. Why did Wake want me to come here? Well, I'm sure we'll find out. There was mention of Hartman before. He was just talking about Hartman as well, and what the fuck is going on over there? Pretty dark, but what the hell is going on? Is this the oldest house doing that its thing, or? Doesn't look like a house ship. <laughs> no. Do I even want to know? Probably not. Okay, so hang on. Let's open this up. 
And there's another control point, right. Alright, nothing here. Apart from this, let's see. What's it going to be? Something useful? Uh, potentially. Alright. Okay, let's take that. Maybe it's going to sort some of the walls and ceilings out. And then again, maybe not. <laughs> Never mind. Filing and processing, go on. Oh. Oh dear. Hang on. I think there might be a threat here. Certainly. Oh boy. Oh, it feels good to be killing you guys again. And taking control of you, of course, as well. Lovely. Two is always better than one. Oh, I love it when you take something from behind them, you trip them up, and then you throw it right back at their face. Right, let's have another one. So I'm fairly well upgraded, really. So I, I should have an easier ride through this expansion than maybe a few others. Of course, the hiss are already in here. Of course, of course. Launch speed boost, what's that one over there? That's a good one. Dodge efficiency, okay, yeah. Dodging all around at the speed of sound. Right, so yeah, it's been a while since I played this game. Before I started the expansion, like yesterday, I did go on and I just sort of potted around getting used to the controls, but... Well, we'll see how much I remember, I suppose. Hartman Arrest, okay. So yeah, Emil Hartman. Victim name, Alan Wake. Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson, that's right, okay. Rudolph Lane, Wendy DeSol... yeah. Kidnapping of altered individuals, sanctions against altered organizations, obstruction of bureau investigation. Hmm. Biannual surveillance orders were assigned to each, except the Anderson brothers due to their senility and wake. Possibly deceased. Possibly. Only possibly. And so let's see. Okay. Doesn't look like I'm going to find uh, another way out of here, but. Just want to see if there's any more documents to read, essentially. Again, I apologize if I miss any. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I've already missed a few. But I want to be fairly thorough. Here we go. Foot gossip. Go on. <laughs> Sincerely, me. Okay. All right. Well, some are more important than others, it seems. Service tunnel that way. It seems like that's where I'm going to have to go. Whoa. Yeah. Looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here. A little bit. Oh, hang on. There you go. Seize reload efficiency. Okay. So I can't squeeze through there. I don't think so. I think this is actually cut off. All right, we'll go through the uh, we'll go through the tunnel instead. So around here. Oh boy. What the hell is this? This darkness is blocking the door. So there you go. Now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise. A light burns it away, huh? It does. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, it kind of does. At least in this sense. Is that a corpse up there? Okay, let me just let me just drop this. What do we got through here? Okay, there's another light by the looks of it. Anything else? Uh, judging by the highlights I can see in the darkness, probably not. Okay, right, through here. So yeah, uh, unfortunately I don't have a flashlight of my own, like Alan. So this is going to have to do. Up there. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, maybe actually choosing the golden suit was a good choice, seeing as a lot of this is going to be dark. Hang on, what's over there? Oh, more of the mold? Oh Christ, okay, so that is... That just goes into no man's land. I don't even know where that is. Okay. Uh, one thing I'm probably going to do in this playthrough as well is I'm going to focus more or less solely on the Alan Wake stuff. If something comes up, I might deal with it, but yeah, I'm focusing on the, uh, the main story. Shit. 
Well, it's no good to me anymore. Hartman? That was Hartman, right? Okay. Let's get the control point. Well, let's see. Okay, let's take let's take this light source. Might come in handy, you never know. Okay, so that's just the other side. The operation center is this way. The third thing. The third thing? The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. He did? Okay. <laughs> I better have this then. If he's going to uh, come out of the darkness. Oh, there you go. Let's take care of that. Okay, looks like there's uh, another one of these. Fair enough. So I, I take it this isn't going to work. Oh, it is going to work. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Ah! Ideal. Right, so uh, let's put this one here. Okay. And it looks like that's working as well. What do we got here? The Eagle Limited Summary. Okay. So it's a train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries. Hmm. Okay, the individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further study, so we might be bumping into it, actually. Okay, looks like there's something over here. My understanding oh. of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both mm. figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry, against this metaphysical gloom. Where did I leave that light? There, there it is. Are the I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the dark. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? Mm. With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. And that's the end of the audio log. Okay, there is actually something else to read before we go and flip the switch. Uh, it's about the shadow. Uh, so, it's some sort of entity. It's just known as the shadow. It consists of three types. Localized manifestations of sentient something. The shaded individuals and shaded objects as well. These are probably things that Alan Wake dealt with in his games. But uh, in control, they've been classified. <laughs> they've been studied. Okay, the investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lightning sources. Okay, that makes sense, considering what he just said. If light is going to be protection, yeah. I like the sound of that. Oh, well, I've got my trusty one waiting down there for me. Right, so what does this do? Let's see. Hey! Oh, boy. Okay. Is this bulletproof? I guess it might be. Hey there. Oh boy. Alright, so let's see. Fire extinguisher? Who wants a fire extinguisher? <laughs> I 
<laughs> I feel I'm fairly well protected down here, really. They're gonna have to come out and get me. I'm sure they will. Oh, bloody hell. Oh no, the fire extinguisher! No! Shit! Oh, even better. Yeah, I'll take control of him. And then maybe he can help me out. There we go. Two is better than one. Right, any more? Okay, we got some health down there at the very least. That's nice. Wow. Okay, this is kind of chaos. I missed this game. I haven't played it in a while. Okay, sweet. So they'll dodge one. Oh. They usually can't dodge the second. That is, if I'm accurate. There you go. I've really got to pay attention to the grenades they're throwing and my health. Ooh. So if I take that guy over, will I have his shield as well? Let's see. No, unfortunately not. I love the fact that you can grab their bodies as well. Take this guy over, and he can help out. Oh, was that it? I think that was it. Right, let's go collect some health. And uh, read some more documents, I expect, because that seems to be the way this actually works. Uh, so what do we got down here, actually? Oh, is that another audio log? Agent Fisher. Right. Six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire, triggering a flash camera across the main entrance, even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. But mostly just... inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how, exactly. I, uh... I think this place is making fun of me. <laughs> That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them. Laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I could hear the call bell go and ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think. Wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this. Gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck cooperate. <laughs> okay, there we go. Was that it? Oh, okay. Oh no. But I definitely heard movement coming from the hallway. I think I might have finally caught one. The recording better work this time or I swear to god I'm What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... That's it? It just cuts off there. Worrying. Okay, looks like there's a document over here. Let's take a quick look. Interrogation complaint, alright. Regarding what? <laughs> <laughs> Want to know what I call that? Bullshit. Hmm, alright. Not everyone's as happy as some others. Okay, oh, what have we got here? Oh! Artsy? Let's see. Vents, they are full of mold shit. It's not the cool for you. Headache, nausea, mold lack, depression. Okay, so... 
still when you are in. Just like in the main story, Artie's got some side missions for us to do in the investigation sector. Again, as I said before, I'm going to focus on the main story, at least to begin with. Um, at the end, if you want to see me do some of that stuff, by all means, let me know. Occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well as genuine altered and paranatural materials, were raided in somewhere in the Czech Republic. Huh. There's a growing underground market for paranatural materials. Interesting. Hmm, motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. Okay. Could be setting up a sequel or something, you know, an antagonist in, a, in the future. Anywho, so, right. Um, looks like we're gonna get some toilets over here? Yeah, okay. Looks like no one's using them. Uh, <laughs> right. Anything good? Okay, shoot to dodge efficiency. Actually, how are we doing with those? I probably need to get... Okay, I probably will at some point need to clear out some personal mods and weapon mods and stuff. But uh, that'll do. That'll do. Right, through here. Another one? Okay. Alright, so active investigations. Uh, oh. I don't feel right. Something in this darkness is draining me. Oh damn, it was draining my powers, yeah. Over here too? Oh right, okay, so yeah, light is going to be very, very important indeed. Wait. There's a socket for a power cell. Have we got a power cell around here somewhere? Mm, there's another blank one. Okay, well, let's see. Does this does this work? Maybe I need to come back down here. Oh, it's working. Okay. All right. Hmm. All right. Oh dear. Shit. Oh dear. Now what? I don't know. But oh. oh. What is that? I have great darkness. That's Hartman. The elevator. Time to go. You didn't look like that in Alan Wake. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh. Wow. Apparently not. What in the fu- Oh, he just disappears. Oh no, there he is, over there. Oh, power course, hang on. Okay, I've just got to get out of the darkness as quick as possible. Stay in the light, right. So, I can go over there. And that lights that area up, okay. Uh, I'm going to take one of these with me, just in case. But yeah, I think to start regenning that... I've got to be in the light. Alright, so hold on. Let me just drop this. Looks like there's something down here. Wow. That's really creepy, actually. Uh, what was that? Night Spring screenplay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> it appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of the application to become one of the show's writers. All right, that's just page one. Maybe I can find page two around here as well. Unless, of course, that was it. In which case, well, it's not a very good start in his uh, TV show writing career. Okay, there were loads of power cores. I'm sure there's going to be many, many uses for them, right? This doesn't seem to be too well lit, but it's, it's enough, apparently. Over there, I could barely see that. Okay. Right. Look at him, there he is. Uh, I think I'm like pissing him off, but I don't think I'm actually doing any damage. Right, ooh. Okay, right, so yeah, he... He's just gonna linger in the darkness. I mean, this is genuinely fucking creepy, honestly. Right. You just go over there. There you go. I'll just bring out a few spares. There's loads of these things. They're all up there now. Okay, so let's continue lighting this place up. Okay, I should be able to carry one. Uh, yeah. I should be able to carry one across. 
There's another one over there. Okay. Nothing down here. No, all right. Okay, let's let's move across to the other area quickly. And what do we got here? Okay, there's a document. There's also there's a button. Right, there's a switch. For the lights? Yes. Yeah, that's Hartman. He I I can kinda recognize his face. How do you like that? He didn't like that at all. Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's see. What do we got here? Hartman background. Yeah, let's have a look, shall we? So yeah, he's an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center in uh well in in Bright Falls, Washington, I suppose, or just outside of it. Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent something abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping something to his own benefit. Uh-huh. A paracriminal. I had no idea. Or at least I had no idea it was it went this deep. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna be uh he's gonna be the main antagonist for this? I'm okay with that. That was a nice twist as well, and yeah, that actually did feel Kind of, well, kind of like a horror game, a little bit. Right, what do we got here then? Am I... Oh, it's urgent! Hang on. Maybe I could just destroy this. Right. That's better, I got some room now. Should be able to have a look at it now, yeah? No? No? Shit! How do I... <laughs> okay, hang on, if I get the... Yep. <laughs> Seems like I can only grab it when I'm flying. The door appearance. Ah, okay, in the Ocean View Motel. Alice Wake. Alice Wake, that's it, I was right, Alice Wake. A person of interest in the Bright Falls AWE. And she was brought into the oldest house for an in person interview, that's right. Hmm, interesting. Something else down there? Oh, okay, another audio log by the looks of it. Henneman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Henneman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, a K. Not an N. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes me look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could move out of my parents' basement. Maybe go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> Kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. Sounds wise. Sounds wise. But that was just one. Okay. I guess there's going to be a two around here as well. Okay. So. He went off that way. I don't suppose I can follow him, can I? Uh, maybe I can, actually. Or maybe not, actually, no. I think it's essentially just a, an invisible barrier. I'm sure we'll be seeing him again, though. Anyway, seeing as we've got all the lights on, nobody should be disturbing me as I go up this time, right? Man, what are you doing in investigations? No. Jesus, don't scare <laughs> me like that, Winston. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's oh, a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Hey, look at that. The Bright Falls AWE. Alright, so here we are. Here's the intercom. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. <laughs> Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? I did. Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that firebreak. Sorry. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. Alright. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. 
Do you have a flashlight? No. No. Uh, a lantern? I yeah. wish. Boy, a flare gun. Oh, <laughs> Christmas lights. You wrap them around your I don't have any of those, Langston. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This of course you will. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Yeah, right. away from the okay. danger. Well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Okay, the third Next thing. That's right. This is kind of exciting. <laughs> so there's a couple of other AWEs, and there's the Brightfall AWE. I see. So I, I can't go straight over. No, not at the moment. Right, yeah, let's uh, let's deal with the third thing mission, shall we? Let's go to... Uh, let's go to Eagle Limited. Yeah. I'm just going to let him natter on. I'm sure it's very important. <laughs> okay. Actually, how long have I been playing? It's been, it's been a little while, really, because a lot of it has been reading and listening, which I'm sure is going to be, you know... A lot of this expansion is kind of like the game's bread and butter. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the next control point I'll save and um, we'll continue this in the second video. Alright, I just want to make sure that I'm staying in these very well lit areas. And there you go, there's another control point just there. Alright. I'm just going to claim this control point. It's going to save. Maybe I'll deal with my loadout. Maybe I'll get rid of some weapon mods and stuff like that. Maybe I'm going to change my suit. But next time when we come back, we'll be dealing with the Eagle Limited AWE area. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. A little bit dark, isn't it? Never mind. <laughs> uh, a resignation letter. It's not darling, is it? Oh, good. Okay. If I could just find something that removed that black marker, that'd be great. Police arrived, but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Upon arrival, the agents approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. <laughs> oh, was that darling that I just saw? Please tell me it's going to be an episode of Night Springs. Ah, damn it. Is this the oldest house doing that its thing? or? doesn't look like a house yet. <laughs> no. Probably not. Oh boy. Oh, it feels good to be killing you guys again. Toilets over here? Yeah, okay. Looks like no one's using them. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so active investigations. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. Wow. I mean, this is genuinely fucking creepy, honestly. I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Sorry. Okay, listen, 